young. We'd like to show the rest of the country that rock and roll is a safe and sane dance for all young people. I mean, a real smart kid I got. The other night I told him, I said, you're young, you don't have it upstairs. He told me I'm old, I don't have it downstairs. I feel like I'm back in eighth grade here. What is this, the young and the stupid? Some trouble kids today, they play around so young. Who they play around too young, you know? Well, today they got birth control pills shaped like Fred Flintstone. Don't you think you're a little young for that, Sonny? Oh, wonderful boy, nice boy, right? He's a good boy, I'll tell you. Now I know why tigers think they're young. And now, here's an important announcement for all you young hot rodders. I'll tell you what you need. You need Strictly 80 Spotlight on Coolin' with the Captain. I'm Captain Freeznot, broadcasting to you live from high atop Black Mountain from the satellite. Revolting Radio Satellite Service Studios and uh, right here on Freeznotable Pop Culture TV. Welcome to another edition, the second time I've done this now, for an 80 Spotlight. And it's kind of serving two purposes. The new segment called 80 Spotlight, which we did last week on Madonna, I play four tracks from an artist from the 80s, and In Excess is a fantastic group to spotlight, a uh, great pop group uh, in the 80s and uh, most of the 90s as well, until the tragic death of the lead singer, a group from Australia, so they're from Down Under, and also a popular group with the moms. My mom likes In Excess, maybe your mom likes In Excess, maybe you like In Excess. Uh, yo, it's time for some In Excess. Want. 
And give me a moment Your moves are so raw I've got to let you know I've got to let you know
All right, you're cooling with the captain. I'm the Captain Freeze Nine. Maybe you're even dancing with the captain because those are a bunch of dance jamming tracks from their late 80s, early 90s. Uh, incredible songs by NXS. The big NXS album for me, I even had a poster of it in my room, was Kicks. Uh, it's either Kick or Kicks, plural, I'm not sure. But it had What You Need on it. It had New Sensation. It, it had all kinds of great songs. Or not, not What You Need, I Need You Tonight. What You Need, I think, was on Listen Like Thieves, which is the album before. But either way, In Excess, great. Four tracks back there, Devil Inside, New Sensation, I Need You Tonight, and What You Need. From In Excess, part of our new segment that we're going to do every once in a while here to kind of you know, switch it up, change it up. We're still going to do hairband stuff, and we're still going to do psychedelic stuff and uh, all that. But right now, getting kind of our 80s on. You know what I'm saying? And that was in excess. Okay, now it is time to uh, pay tribute to a guy that passed away at the beginning of the month here. His name is Gordon Meredith Lightfoot Jr. But you know him better, uh, if you know him at all, as Gordon Lightfoot. You might even know him as Edmund Fitzgerald because... <laughs> His most popular song is The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald, which came out in 76. And some people think that it, it, the singer Edmund Fitzgerald came out with a song called, you know, The Wreck of the Gordon Lightfoot. It's one of those kind of common rock mistakes and myths. And it, it's just if you're a lightweight when it comes to your classic rock, um, that you don't know that it's Gordon Lightfoot that wrote and performed The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. But he's done a lot of other stuff. He is a Canadian singer, a folk pop singer. Um, he has been referenced as probably one of the greatest Canadian uh, songwriters and just maybe one of the greatest greatest songwriters in general um, with uh, tunes like uh, If You Could Read My Mind and Rainy Day People, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, and then the song we're going to spotlight tonight uh, as a tribute to him, one of my favorites of all time that came out in 1974. It's called Sundown. 
Uh, the Guess Who, which is one of my favorite classic rock groups, uh, recorded a song called Lightfoot on their 1968 album, Wheatfield Soul, and I have that, and I like that song. And Robbie Robertson, who's the lead singer of the band, described Lightfoot as a natural, a national, and a natural treasure. So Gordon Lightfoot passed away at the beginning. He was born in November 17th, 1938. He passed away on May 1st, 2023. So let's pay a little bit of a tribute to the one and only Gordon Lightfoot with this song, one of my favorites from 1974, it's Sundown. and a substantial amount of non-news ingredients. Hi. This week in 1969, the Beatles earned a gold record for Get Back. This week in 1978 in Lubbock, Texas, where he was born, the Buddy Holly story premiered, starring Gary Busey. He put off college for over a year. What for? Play this jungle music? Well, how could it be jungle music if I wrote it? This week in 1960, it was reported that songwriter-producer Barry Gordy was starting a new record label called Motown. This week in 1970, Randy Bachman quit the Guess Who. There's no time left for you. This week in 1974, Bachman Turner Overdrive released Taking Care of Business. 
and this week in 1977, Foreigner's debut album went gold. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. You never take. That's cold as ice. And now, more news. This week in 1973, the Senate Watergate hearings opened. There are two central burning issues that must be resolved here today. Yes. What did the president know, and when did he stop knowing it? This week in 1968, Cream earned a gold album for Disraeli Gears. This week in 1927, Charles Lindbergh landed at Le Bourget Field in Paris to complete the first ever transatlantic solo flight. And this week in 1967, after seeing them play in London, Reprise Records signed the Jimi Hendrix Experience. After all the jets are in the boxes And the clowns have all Broken pieces of yesterday's life 
And the wind screams very experience and that's it for the news experience okay light the script on fire <laughs>